Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Honeybee Stamps. In today's video, we are going to create this super sweet baby card featuring many stamps and dies from the recent release. This card makes great use of pattern paper, and I also share with you some Copic marker techniques for adding depth to your die cuts. All the pattern paper that we're using for today's card is from this 6x6 rainbow birthday paper pad and the die set is this adorable rockabye baby die set that just came out in their recent release and i'll also be using some um, basic colors like a craft a cream a kind of tan and white cardstock as well so i'm going to open up the pad here i've already pulled out some sheets of cardstock that i'm going to use from this pattern paper pad kind of a pink pinky red, a blue, and a yellow. And I'm going to start die cutting like crazy. We're going to start with the mobile, which is the one I do the most work on here. And I die cut out a white cardstock as well as the pattern paper, blue, yellow, and pink. And now I'm going to fussy cut off some of the little hanging charms from the mobile. So I die cut the, or I fussy cut the, the cloud off of the white mobile. Off of the yellow one, I fussy cut off a star and a moon. And then for the red one, I'm just going to cut off some of the hearts. Now this is definitely very small and difficult kind of work here to do. If this looks like way too much trouble, I totally get it. You can just leave the mobile one, um, uh, just one layer, like the blue. If you left it just in that blue pattern paper, I think it would be really pretty on its own. Now I'm going to go ahead and just glue down all these little charms that I uh, fussy cut off starting with the cloud here I'm just going to inlay or I guess it's not actually the inlay just lay it right on top or right here right on top of the um, the the charm on the blue uh, mobile so once I get this all finished up here that will actually be the end that will be all we do for the mobile and again this is a, a kind of a tedious work and you could just totally skip this and just have this die cut out of um, pattern paper and leave it alone or you could even Copic color you could try Copic coloring as well so now I'm going to move on to the blankets I decided I wanted the little kind of fringe on the blanket to be white so I die cut it out of pattern paper and white cardstock both of these blankets one of these blankets is actually kind of a saddle that goes on the rocking horse and then I just trimmed off the fringe on the pattern paper blankets and now I'm just going to adhere them on top of the white blankets and so that as you can see that makes the fringe look white so now we're done with the two blankets we're going to move on to the bunny now for the bunny I decided I wanted his little belly to be cream so I'm going to take my white bunny here and cut out the tummy and when you do this, you'll end up having a little leg kind of still attached to the tummy, so you're going to cut that off as well. And then I'm going to adhere all of these, um, or these parts of the bunny on top of the cream bunny, or these parts of the white bunny on top of the cream bunny, and that will give this little bunny a little um, cream tummy. Again, you could try, you could Copic color the tummy as well. Uh, I just kind of like the look of colored cardstock. I like the way it looks, so I go the extra mile here and do this kind of additional fussy cutting. Now, one thing I wanted to do in addition to um, just doing the kind of colored cardstock on this bunny is I'm going to take a marker here and color in the bunny's nose and eye just to add that detail and then one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a Copic marker this is a really kind of light tan and just add a shadow to the side of the bunny this is really going to add some more dimension to the bunny give it a little bit more shape and depth just adding it along anywhere on the side of this bunny even a little to the tummy now we're going to move on to the rocking horse I'm going to start by adding my shadow to the first layer of the rocking horse and again just like the bunny I'm just kind of going around the sides of that horse with that Copic marker and then we're going to color the two layers or two legs on the base layer uh, just to add some shadow there so they look like they're in the back then I'll take a Copic marker and color the mane and tail on this base layer this is kind of or the back layer of this horse make sure to color the sides too so it has a, a really clean professional look once I finish coloring the tail and mane I'm then going to grab another Copic marker here and actually color the um, gosh I don't know what this part of the rocking horse is called these kind of rocker parts of the horse a darker shade just to add more interest to this image and then again take that Copic marker and color the sides of the cardstock as well because it gives it a really clean professional look. Now I'm going to color this little um, bright 
spray. I don't know what that called. Rains? There we go. Uh, the same color that I colored the rails on the rocking horse. Now I went ahead and quickly colored the eye with a black marker, just like I did on the rabbit. And now I'm going to adhere that top layer onto the back. Then I will grab the actual little saddle or blanket that we uh, put together earlier, add a little bit of adhesive to the back of that, stick that on the horse, and you can really start to see this super sweet little rocky horse come together. Then I'm going to add a little bit of glue here to the reins and then um, adhere that on as well. And then we will be done with this rocking horse. Isn't it adorable? I feel like when I work with these little die cuts, especially layering ones, I'm, I'm, I'm like making a little dollhouse furniture. <laughs> now I'm going to work on the cradle here or the bassinet. I'm going to first First color the back layer with some Copic markers to add some uh, shadow to this craft cardstock. Coloring the legs here as well using a darker shade to, um, uh, and this is a little bit darker than the one I used earlier to kind of create a gradation. Then I have this uh, the bedding part here die cut out of white cardstock, just going to adhere that down. Then I will take my top layer here, add a little bit of an adhesive to this. I didn't do any coloring to this top layer. This is just the craft cardstock. And then I will adhere it right down. And then that will create this really beautiful little um, bassinet. And now that we're finished with that, we're going to move on to the muslin that hangs around the bassinet. Uh, I've already die cut the top layer out of white card, so I can see that on the left. Now I'm going to make like a back layer uh, on my own by tracing around the die itself onto some white cardstock. Once I get that traced, I then will fussy cut this out. I'm going to cut just a little bit um, more inward, which will mean I kind of cut off that pencil line that I created, and that'll just mean I don't have to erase later on. This, of course, is going to make a background or a back layer that's a little bit bigger than the top layer, but um, I don't mind that it's a little bit off. I actually kind of like the way that it looks. It looks like it's just kind of really hugging around at the bassinet a little bit more. Once I finish cutting that out, I then, I then am going to add some details to that top layer with a Copic marker. This is a really light tan, the same tan that we used on the white bunny earlier. I'm just coloring right over the score lines that the die creates or the detail lines that the die creates in the the die cut then i just grabbed a colors blender and just kind of softening some of my copic marker details now i have this little detail here for the muslin it is a die cut out of cream cardstock it's just going to be kind of the hoop that go that's on the inside or outside i guess of this hanging muslin. Just adhered it down. Then I'm going to grab this top layer, just add glue to the very top of it, and adhere it down to that back layer that we uh, created ourselves. Now we're kind of ready to put this together. I'm going to start with the uh, mobile and kind of add some liquid adhesive to the back side of it. And then I'm going to tuck it in uh, our muslin and just kind of lift that up. You want to make sure that you can see why it's so important not to glue the sides of our top layer of that muslin quite yet because we still have a lot of things to tuck in here. Now I'm just kind of figuring out where I want the blanket to go on the bassinet. So then once I got in the right spot, I'm going to glue that down. And again, kind of arranging things, kind of figuring out how it's going to look. I like that arrangement. So now we're going to move on to kind of putting this together. I'm going to start with this piece of pattern paper. Um, it's an I cut it down to an A2 panel and I'm now just going to adhere it onto an A2 top holding white card base. Again, this pattern paper is from that Rainbow Birthday um, pattern paper that uh, pad that I showed you in the beginning. Once I got that glued down, I'm going to arrange my little scene here. Um, so I'm just getting everything together. I did create a little rug here out of the yellow pattern paper um, off screen. And now I'm just kind of arranging everything. Once I get it in the right place, I'm going to grab a piece of press and seal, place it on top of my arrangement, and then pick up all those die cuts and put that to the side. Now we're going to move on to our sentiment. I grabbed the super cute Welcome Baby Sentiment set here. This set is great because not only can you use these sentiments for the front of your card, but you can also use them on the inside of your card as well. And they are super sweet. Um, I love this one here um, that I picked out as well. I think 
it says little someone new uh, little dream come true so once I got it picked up with my misty I just inked it up in black ink and stamped it now we're ready to finish this card by adhering our die cuts down I'm going to carefully remove away some of the uh, press and seal that I had on the back of these die cuts to kind of hold them in place, add some liquid adhesive to the back side of all of these die cuts, and then I will carefully pick up my press and seal and center my arrangement here on my card front. Once I get it in place, I'll then kind of press everything down, hold it for a second, just let that glue set up, and then carefully peel back the press and seal. Now there's gonna be some um, little additional areas of the die cuts that I'm gonna to need to add adhesive, like the backside of the bassinet. It needs to kind of have a little bit more adhesive so it can attach to that muslin. Uh, and then a little bit uh, more adhesive on the backside of the rocking hearts ho uh, the rocking horse. These were just some of the places I couldn't get to because they were layered, and I I could only see I could only add adhesive to parts of the um, die cuts. Once I have everything in here down, my card is com complete. And I'll hold it to the camera so you can get a good look at this card. I actually intentionally made this card kind of gender neutral because my sister is pregnant and this is for her and we do not know the sex yet of her baby. We won't find out till it's it's born, so it's so exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I used, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.